that's super, super, it's super exfoliating. It is like, <laughs> like a weapon. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my October Ipsy bag here for you today. And as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag. I've been trying out the products inside. I'm not actually wearing them on my face today. I wore them yesterday and planned on filming this yesterday, but I filmed a different video that was kind of difficult to film. So I didn't end up filming it, filming it yesterday, but I have tried these out. So I'll be able to tell you about it in this video. So let's get to it. So the theme this month is very kind of Halloween. It says Ipsy Black Magic and it says Beauty Spells. Hey boo, we've got some tricks and treats up our sleeve. Three ways to get in on the magic at ipsy.com slash glam bag. And it talks about like, you know, how you can get involved or whatever. And then the little bag, it's cute. I mean, it's got, I mean, it's got some things on it that I'm not a huge fan of, you know, like the Ouija board and the spell book and I'm not into that, but it does look cute. So I like the like light pink with the kind of black graphics on it. I think it is kind of a cute little look to it. So very kind of Halloween themed. First off, I got a cleanser. This is the Be Fine Food Skincare Exfoliating Cleanser with brown sugar, sweet almond, and oats. And it says our cleanser exfoliates and, re and removes impurities while naturally balancing your skin's moisture. Brown sugar, almond, and oats remove excess oil and nourish dry, sensitive skin. Dampen skin with warm water, gently apply in a massaging circular motion, avoiding the eye area, rinse well. So I actually tried this on my hand because a lot of times like exfoliating cleansers, I like to kind of like test them on my hand just to see how exfoliating they are. It, I'm trying to smell it again because I remember I thought it smelled good when I used it. Now I don't smell it. Maybe just a little bit sugary. Um, I thought I remembered smelling it more. But anyway, what I wanted to say is it's super, super, it's super exfoliating. <laughs> it's super exfoliating, like it's very, very gritty. So, I mean, it's going to exfoliate. So I would say definitely use water with it. Like don't apply it dry or you're gonna probably over exfoliate your face. Um, but if you're wanting some exfoliation, this'll do it. I got a lip balm. This is the Preventative Measures 101, Lips 101 After Hours Lip Balm. This smells really good. I was trying to think about what it smelled like when I was using it. I would say mostly like grapefruit, something very citrusy, but I'm pretty sure this is grapefruit, I think. That's my best guess. Um, but it smells really nice, very kind of fruity and citrusy. Um, and I thought it was nice. I thought it like moisturized my lips well. I do use um, some kind of a lip balm before I go to bed every single night. So I will use this. I have used it just during the day, like kind of while I was doing my makeup, I put it on to see, you know, how it felt. Felt nice on the lips, wasn't super greasy or anything like that. So, but hydrating. So I liked it. Then a deluxe size sample of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I do have a full size of this in a different shade because when I was color matched for it, I had like a faux tan on. So this actually matches me better. This is in 117 equals Y225. So I wore this again yesterday. I do like this foundation, but I'm, I think, a little bit too oily for it. I think this is best suited for combo to dry. I'm more combo oily. Once it gets into the winter time, I'm more kind of combo normal. But um, right now, I think I'm a little bit too oily for it because I got pretty shiny. It's not like it breaks down, like it doesn't start to separate or anything, um, but I look pretty shiny when I wear this. So, but it is a really pretty full coverage foundation. It really does look beautiful on the skin. Um, but I would just say if you're more on the oily side, you would really have to prep your skin super duper well for it. And I got an eyeliner pen. This is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen Waterproof. And I was really excited to get this because I've heard some really good things about it. Um, and I did wear this yesterday. It is like, <laughs> like a weapon. It is super duper pointy. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it looks like there. Um, and it's, it's, got some bend to it, which I do like, and it is like a really nice rich black formula, which I also like. Um, I did wear this yesterday and I did cry yesterday and it did run. So 
I wouldn't call it waterproof. I, I didn't have like, I feel like I couldn't speak on that. Um, I feel like it, it like didn't all wear off. I had it left, but it was running. I did have eyeliner running. So I wouldn't call it waterproof. I would call it pretty long wearing. You know what I mean? So it is a nice black dark formula. It's very affordable. I like the packaging on it. And it is long wearing, but I wouldn't call it waterproof. And lastly, I got an eyeshadow. This is the Beauté Basics, and this is in Satin Taupe. I've never heard of this brand, um, so this is kind of a first for me, but you know, semi-nice packaging. I wouldn't say like super duper fancy, but functional. Um, and this is a really pretty color. It feels very nice and buttery. I did wear this yesterday, um, and I liked it. Like it blended nicely onto my lids. It wore well. I wore it with other things, so I wasn't just wearing this, but this is one of those shades that's like perfect for a one shadow look that you could just throw some um, of your bronzer in your crease, throw that on your lid, and you're out the door. I love these kind of like taupey colors for looks like that, which I think I have, I have like a one shadow um, drugstore get ready with me that I put up a while back, but I used, um, what did I use? L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Bronze Taupe, which looks a lot like this, if not pretty much dead on. So yeah, so I like these kind of shadows and this one seems really nice. I like the quality of it and I'm always excited to get eyeshadow and lipsticks and blushes and things like that in subscription services. So this is my favorite thing. All right, so that's everything that I got in my bag this month. I would say, Pretty good bag this month. Not my absolute favorite, but I do really like the eyeshadow. I'm glad that I got to try out the liner. I mean, this is a nice thing to get in there to get to try a high-end item, so don't mind getting that. And I do like these products. Y'all know I just kind of prefer color cosmetics over this kind of stuff, but they're not bad products. So yeah, pretty good bag this month. Hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you got in your Ipsy bag. I would love to know that. If you want to sign up for Ipsy, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!